So I'm calling this video, Art is a Journey, Not a Destination, because I'm going to just do a bit of work in my sketchbook while I'm talking to you. I've got this ugly page here, um, and I've got some nice pages that I like before it, but this one, and then there's some that need work on, but this one just is a big mess. So while I'm talking to you, I'm just going to do some work on this. Journey, not destination. So what do I mean by that? Because we hear that cliche all the time. But in, in art, more than anything else, that's the truth. We When I make these videos and I show my sketchbook, I've had questions. Yeah, but what do you do? Because you can't sell that. You can't frame it and sell it. As if framing and selling something is the reason why I would be doing this. And it's just so not. That's just like the last, I mean, yeah, I do sell my paintings when I make actual paintings. They are for sale. I don't want to keep them all. But that's not what this is about for me. That's not where the pleasure comes from. And if you can't understand that, if that doesn't make sense, because perhaps you really want to sell paintings and you don't know how to do it yet. Think about this. Think about a time you got something that you really, really wanted like you, you thought that getting this thing was going to make you happy. Or this person, this relationship, this house. And then you got that thing. And then you didn't feel any happier. Because it's the getting there. It's the looking forward to finding the house. It's the going on first dates with, that, with your future husband. That is the exciting part. Getting it. Then, then you go into you know, real life. We, we, apparently, our happiness reverts back to the same place that it was, no matter what happens. So even if you win your dream amount of money on the lottery and solve all your financial problems, you will revert back to feeling the same general level of happiness that you have always felt. And there's nothing you can do about that. So in that case, the waiting for something to happen, the result, the final finished painting, waiting for that makes us unhappy. It actually spoils things for us. We can't enjoy ourselves because we're too busy wondering if this is going to work. Is this painting going to be good? If not, there's no point in me doing it. But the point in doing something like I'm doing here in this book it's the last thing about it is selling artwork. What's important is that I'm exploring some different ideas or some things I'm interested in. In this book, I'm interested in working within this limited palette to keep me uh, on track. And I'm interested in contrasting pattern with looseness and seeing how far I can push that and what works and what doesn't. And so I've got all different ways of trying that. I've got stencils. I've made collage papers to use in here. Um, and, and I'm playing around with the ideas and pushing it like I had on that page too far until I just don't like it. And then coming in and saying, right, what can I do to make it so I do like it? And th that is all learning, which will ultimately come out in paintings. But it doesn't have to come out now. Do you see? Like, it just doesn't have to come out every time I go do the work. If I try to make every time I do the work be a good drawing or a good painting or a good result, I'll never get a good result because the trying is the problem. The good things happen when I'm not trying. I might have ideas I want to try out. I might have thoughts about what would might look good, but... I'm, I, if I start trying to make them look good, disaster will strike. Now this, I've just found this scrap of paper on my desk. I always have little loose bits lying around when I'm working like this. So I notice there's no letters or numbers in this. And letters and numbers, I'm really enjoying. So I'm going to put those there, that there. And I'm going to get some other letters, some bigger ones. I've got some newsprint. A friend gave me a lot of old newspapers. Not the newspaper that I would normally read, but... 
doesn't matter for this, does it? Doesn't matter if it's a tacky newspaper if it's going in here. So I'm just wanting to. I feel like it's boring, so I'm just wanting to bring some pep and excitement into it. I'm not uh, thinking necessarily about where things are placed. The thinking for me comes at the editing stage. Oh, this tissue paper kind of lettering. It's like handwritten lettering that isn't really letters that I just make on tissue paper. Uh, where do I want to put that? Not where I've just put that. Uh, maybe there, so part of it won't show up because it's on a dark background and part of it will. I need to get some more glue. I'm using, the glue I'm using here is gloss medium because that's what I've got in my studio, but you can use any kind of glue, especially in a sketchbook, doesn't matter. You can use PVA, you can use kids glue, glue sticks, I use all sorts. But when I'm done, because there's so many layers on here, I'll coat it all in medium, like maybe GAT 100 or gloss medium, probably GAT 100. And uh, so it's going to be coated in anyway, so I don't mind about. And you see, I went over the newsprint that I've just stuck in, which was fine. In fact, I'm going to blend that in a bit more. But it's all, so all I wanted to say about this is, it is the journey, not the destination. The joy we get from making our art is, is the joy of this, doing this, having my hands covered in paint, having glue and paint and bits of paper everywhere and being allowed for my job <laughs> to just play with bits of paper. And if I start, like I say, the soon as I start thinking, is this working? Am I doing it right? Am I going to be able to sell this? Then it'll all go wrong. And so I'm just always thinking like, what do I like? What don't I like? What do I want to change? What do I want to bring more of? And all those little dots on that bit were annoying me, the dots I put down. So I'm going to just get rid of them. Do that over there. I don't love that colour, but make it put some more black into it to make it more grey. It's a bit, a bit blue, a bit vibrant. So I've got all sorts of tissue papers out, so I'm just grabbing things to see what I feel like might go well in there. Let's put some of this in. I've not had this before in this book. I made this with a, a mask stencil, just a little plastic thing that I bought on eBay. Uh, too much like that if I put it there. I'll just put it... It's probably all a bit too much. I think but I'm going to put it on and then I can edit after. I'm just getting a few different pattern bits of tissue paper that I've made in the past using stencils. And I made a video about that, which you can find. I think it was last week's video. If you want to know more about that. So because I'm not thinking about trying to get an end result, I just keep going if things are not, if it's not working for me. Like if I'm not, that blue there that I added, I didn't really love. So I'm putting this white tissue, stencil pattern tissue on top. Don't really love that either. Um, but I'm just going to keep going. Doing whatever I feel like at any moment. And the only time I switch from what I feel like into something more thoughtful is when I start to see something emerging but the problem that too many early stage or beginner artists have is they feel like I've got to be getting some kind of a result otherwise I'm no good at this and therefore you know that I don't know what that means that means something about you if you're no good at it I like that pattern over the light, so I'm already going to move, change my mind and move that. Really like that bold, those bold shapes over the light. And I'll probably end up covering most of that up and maybe just leaving that bit. But if you, if you make every painting mean something about you, 
then you're never going to be happy because you're always going to be stressing. Then it means if I put this piece of pattern down and it doesn't look good, it means there's something wrong with me. Then I, I'm, you know, I'm going to be constantly stressed out and worrying about doing the right thing. But I just think everything's an experiment and every move you make is just leading you towards the next move. And um, I should have waited for that to dry before I scratched into that. And so you just keep going and see where it leads you. So the journey, not the destination. Once you realise that, you can just start having the most amazing amount of fun. So do you see how, I think you do see how I've made nothing good here. I mean, some interesting bits, some bits I really don't like. And all I need to know to carry on my journey is which bits do I like and which bits don't I like. And so I really liked those clean numbers, but I covered them over with a, 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 an ugly mark that I don't like. So let's try doing the opposite of that and covering that back up with something clean. Um, I liked having big newsprint in there, although I think that's too much, it's too same as that. I had some newsprint that was clean and then it got messed up and I don't like it as much. So, without any thinking, because this is a sketchbook and I'm playing, uh, this is actually my birthday, not the day you're watching this, the day I'm recording it, which is not the same thing, but um, I'm just, it's my birthday, so I can just play around, I don't have to think about getting anything right for anybody. I put that col colour on and I don't like it. I can make it harmonise more by bringing more orange in because it's got orange in it. It's orange and black. So I can make it harmonise more on the page just by bringing in more of the orange. And I could also include it somewhere else, which I did there, but I still don't like it. What I do like is where I scratched into it when it was wet. So I could get rid of all that. But I don't like. It would solve a lot of my problem. And I'm using big brushes so I can't get too precious. And just um, putting in some clean bits. And I liked that headline, so I just want you to see it a bit, so I'll wipe it out. But it's this is just all I wanted to say to this week. All I want you to think about is, is there a way to do something in your art which is playful and enjoyable and which not stressful and which doesn't involve you passing any judgment on yourself at all because when i work like this somewhere in here i start to find things that i really like like this scratched in area there i'm going to continue that through into there really like that and i don't have to know why even i just have to know yeah i like that 
I notice I like it when the marks go off. I didn't like it when I looped the mark back round on itself. That won't mean anything to you, but it doesn't have to. It's my piece, my decisions. You get to make your own decisions on your own piece. I might try. Now I'm trying, what happens if I smush that in? And on many of these pages, I don't learn anything except, oh, I didn't like anything I did there. Um, I'll show you this one. I've got a really busy page here. It's a bit busy, like this one. Both of them though, even though I don't like them as finished paintings, what I like about them is the energy of all the stuff that's going on. I do feel they need editing somewhat, but I think, but I want my work to be full of life and energy. That, that one feels a bit too quiet to me. This one, these collage pieces need blending in. This one, I'm not sure what's going on. This one feels a bit too, too noisy, so that might need quieting down. But I like the pages that feel like they have energy. And I dislike the ones that are lacking in energy. And that's all I need to notice in order to bring what I'm doing in these books into my work. And same when I'm working though. When I work on a painting, on a panel, it's exactly like this. It's all about the journey. It's not about knowing where I'm going. If I knew where I was going when I started a painting, that would be boring. Then there'd be no point in doing it. I've already resolved it in my own mind. For me, the fun of this is in the exploration. So, art is a journey, not a destination. If you are enjoying this video, if you've enjoyed other videos that I made, you can subscribe. Please let me know in the comments below. It's lovely to hear from you. And if you would like to come and join in the artist community that I run, where we do all sorts of fun things like this, and where we have a really thriving community of artists from all over the world, the link will be with this video. If you're on YouTube, it's in the description. If you're on Facebook, it's above or below the video. And if you're on Instagram, it's also in the description of the video. But I would love to see you in there. You get 30 days for free. So what's to lose? See you soon. Bye.